Bunny and today is a very fast, quick, and easy makeup tutorial. Five minute go-to ghoulish glam. If you're anything like me, you are celebrating 31 days of Halloween and in this month in particular, I want to look a little bit uh, creepy spooky every day. I have gotten several requests to do a tutorial for that like Beetlejuicy makeup that I did in day one of Vlogoween. So like this video if you would like for me to do a tutorial on that as well. I feel like all these looks I'm doing are pretty simple. Kind of for a minute thought that this was a five minute look using only five products, but there's more than five products. There's like five products for the lips alone. Not really sure if this only takes five minutes. Who times themselves? seriously to put on makeup and be like mm, yep five minutes you guys does that mean this video is clickbait everything is clickbait either click or be clicked let's just jump right in the first product is a product I have loved forever it's nothing new but it's tried and true makeup forever's hydrating base primer wow I just used way too much product for what I perceived as a cool cinematic effect then as if I have absolutely no care for my skin or my face whatsoever I just rub it roughly onto the skin don't be alarmed for my face turning violently red I think I've got some kind of condition where like when I touch my skin it turns red I feel like we've kind of talked about this for a million years I don't know why it does it quite apparently a lot of you guys always comment and say Say that you have that as well using a product that I cannot live without I don't know how I ever did my makeup before these things waltzed into my life who would waltz I'm trying to think of somebody romantic for some reason like Errol Flynn just <laughs> flashed in my mind like a grotesque flashback but he's not nice my favorite ghost story of all time from celebrity ghost stories was told by oh my god I cannot remember this girl's name put in YouTube celebrity ghost stories Errol Flynn actually I'll try and just find it and remember to link it down below I'm the queen of never remembering to link things but I'll try and turn my brain on okay oh, it's just it's so good it's so scary watch it if you've got time anyway um waltzing Errol Flynn nothing these are the bite beauty multi sticks you can use them for anything on your face eyes lips cheeks rub it inside your nose maybe if you would like to do that they are made with all natural ingredients hashtag not spawns they come in a variety of different colors this one is in the shade peacock pearl so it is more of a shiny pearlescent effect most of the other ones that i've used for the rest of the times of my life are the more matte ones for this look i want my eyes to look kind of like wet and glossy. Mostly I refer to this as the I slept in my makeup look. So that's the look I'm going for. I'm applying this with a Sigma E45 small tapered blending brush. I cannot even believe I'm telling you guys the names of the brushes that I'm using. Like as if I'm some sort of <laughs> professional makeup YouTuber. I am just putting this very messily for the time being in my crease and then I am going to just put it all over my lid. Let me just keep rubbing this semi-gelatinous goo all over my eye holes. That's where we're at right now. A little bit of an unblended mess but don't you worry we'll fix that slightly. Medium angled shading brush from Sigma E70. I am just going through and blending this crease out just a teeny tiny bit. Wait, can you actually see anything I'm doing? Gently using sweeping motions. It's been so long, I feel like, since I've done a makeup video that I'm just sitting here like, hey, can you guys see what's going on? Can you? That looks pretty good in my opinion. And just remember, if you don't do something exactly perfect, there's always Photoshop and Facetune to fix that. Up next, we are taking the Violet Voss Pro Taupe Notch. That is <laughs> difficult for me to say. The Taupe Notch palette. And we are going in with this shade that I love, which is down here. It's sort of a taupey gray. That sounds like an actor's name, right? Taupey gray? Topher Gray? Topher? Topher Graydon? Grayson? Taupe? 
taupey gray world class that's the shade and i am taking the sigma buff and blend e39 brush and just grabbing a tiny little whisper amount of shadow to reinforce like this darker outer crease edge thing that i have going on going in and deepening this up don't worry we'll blend it out right now we're just sort of packing the color on that's where we're at now oh what is this the whole freaking time i felt an extremely painful stabbing in my butt and i had no idea what was going on i'm sitting on this headband amazing let's blend with this funny little whale brush that i found sitting around i'm gonna go through with a sweet soft angelic baby-like touch and blend out the edges <laughs> to accentuate that grotesque slept in look like you just repeatedly apply makeup day after day after day without washing your face or your eyes we're gonna accentuate the lash line with urban decay's 24 7 glide on eye pencil in the shade perversion that sounds family friendly. I'm just going in here, you know, maybe not the the most evenest that I could ever do. I'm not doing a wing, anything fancy like that. I'm just going in there and like lashing, la lining, lining the lash line. Then what I'm gonna do is take this brush, which I thought until this very moment, I, I never knew why this was in a brush set, a brush kit. Just what, what do you do with this? Right. Then I'm gonna go and just smudge out that pencil liner I just added. Make it look kind of messy. That's what I'm going for today, you guys. Messy, ghoulish glam. Do you want to know what the difference is between a ghost and a ghoul? I feel like I should know, and yet somehow I don't. Is a ghoul bad and a ghost is friendly? Add a little bit of extra, like, dark patchiness in some places for some reason makes things look better in my mind ultimately i feel happiest when i look just a little bit grotesque i feel like i've been trying to fight it like be more normal and fit in and it's caused me nothing but sorrow and pain so now I'm back to just being a big old weirdo. It's time to move on into face before we finish eyes with lashes and mascara and stuff. It's still very warm and humid here, so I'm not really in the mood lately to do an extremely full, full face of makeup. So this look is basically devoid of concealers and heavier foundations and all of that, but obviously soup this up however you want. Today I'm going to be using the Dior Skin Air Flash Spray Foundation in the shade something 200. We're probably not the same shade anyway, so it doesn't really matter what shade I'm using. I also never used to apply it with this technique, but now I do. Uh, and I feel like it gives me much lighter, more natural coverage. So I am just spritzing a little bit onto a damp beauty blender and bouncing and blending it out. Dior Flash Foundation is extremely buildable. You can add more, obviously, in certain areas where you might have like more blemishes, more redness, whatever. The other great thing about this foundation is it sets with a really nice, powdery texture so i don't even have to set this let's go ahead and prime the lips if you guys are like me and your lips are sometimes on the drier side before i put on lip liners lipstick and all of that i use a lip balm esque product lately i have really been into the nars orgasm afterglow lip balm the orgasm line from nars is really neat because it's one of those like color changing color adaptive products so the shade actually changes for each person moving on into a little bit of light contouring and highlighting and for that i am using the dior backstage contour palette in the shade 001 Universal. 
Now I'm gonna go through and add just a little bit of light blush and look at how adorable the Tarte blush book is this year. And I'm just picking up a little bit on an angled brush. I don't wanna overdo it. I just wanna add a little glow to the cheeks. I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara. I am going back to a classic, which is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I'm just going to apply two coats of mascara to my top lashes and one coat to my outer bottom lashes. Now we get into the really fun statementy part of this look, which is the lips. For that, I am going through with a liner that I hope they still make from ColourPop. I feel like I've had this in my collection forever and I'm just now getting to use it for the first time. Pet it for? Petite for? Is that some type of food? It is this really nice dark charcoal -y gray color. We are going to go in and very carefully line just the line of your lips. Now the next step is going to be to sort of like drag this towards the center of your lips with a little lip blending brush. The next step is to go in with one of my favorite MAC lipsticks, which is a matte lipstick in the shade Lightly Charred. We are gonna go back in with that lip liner brush again and sort of just blend these two shades together. The finishing touch for the lips is to take one more MAC lipstick. This is also a matte lipstick in the shade Frosting, and basically it is a clown white matte lipstick. We are gonna be applying this like right here, like on these two portions of the lip, and then like down in the very center. I'm taking a tip that I learned from Candy to put a really lighter shade of lipstick on those portions of your lips to help make your lips look more full, plump and big. To keep this lipstick like really nice and white and not really like contaminate it with the other darker shades, I just press a portion of the product onto my hand and then once again I'm gonna go in with that same lip brush and just pick the product up off of my hand like so. Lashes, one of my all-time favorite makeup steps. Today we are using this very wispy, dramatic pair from Bold Face Makeup. They make very, very big, bam, in your face, dramatic lashes and I'm here for it. The only step that I did the other day, which is completely optional, is whatever you wanna do with your brows. So what I end up doing, since I have really light blonde brows, is just taking one of the leftover blending like shadow brushes I used and just lightly dusting in a little bit of that same shadow shade and brushing it through the beginning of my eyebrows. What is this called? I always call this like the beginning of my brows. Then I go through and comb it out with a spoolie brush. Also kind of torn if I want to wear this silver gray wig today, or if I just want to go with my sassy bun and my sassy bunny ears. Sassy, 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 so sassy. Sassy, sassy. The last step of today's look is to plop this $11 wig on my head that I bought from Wish and I actually have a wig cap on today. Even though this is a pretty good quality wig for the price, it's a little bit unnatural looking for me, so I pretty much cannot wear this wig without a hat. You guys, if you need a wig this season for a Halloween costume, I kind of urge you to either go on Wish or Amazon. Amazon is a little bit more expensive, but I feel like the quality is a little bit better. You get so much hair on these wigs for such little money. Ta-da! I am obsessed with this googly eye hat from Valfrey right now. I feel like it's perfect year round, but just like 
really splendid for Halloween. This is it, you guys. This is our completed look. What do you think? Can you do this look in under five minutes? That's it for the makeup portion of this video. If you stick around, the rest of the video is like a follow me around mini vlog adventure. Comment down below. Are you gonna watch the whole video? Or are you checking out now? trying to go to Lowe's and somehow I ended up turning at the stoplight for Walmart. It's like my soul just naturally gravitates towards Walmart every day. Where is my mind? I'm trying to get to Lowe's and for some reason I thought Home Depot was Lowe's. I see Christmas trees in here. The internet told me via Instagram that there is a sandworm inflatable. Sandworms from Beetlejuice. It seems like the most majestic thing in the world. Give me a second. I'm gonna figure out if it's at Lowe's or Home Depot because now I guess my brain just confuses the two. The spirits have guided me correctly. I thought I read that the sandworm thing was at Lowe's, but it's actually at Home Depot. I psychically ended up at Home Depot exactly where I should be. Anyway, what is that? I don't know why I have never really considered like Home Depot or Lowe's or anything to go to to look for Halloween decorations because I've been keeping up with a lot of Halloween dedicated Instagram accounts this year and they post a ton of cute stuff that they got from hardware stores. Ugh, undesignated lettuce might be in my mouth. If you see lettuce in my teeth right now, just do me a favor, okay, and pretend like it's not happening. Please pray for my face, okay, because I've got a pimple. Oh my God, hair bubble. The other thing that I've heard that I can get from here, these lights that look like they drip blood. I saw these in a neighborhood last year. I fell in love with these people's display. It was so amazing. They had these like blood drippy lights and like a skeleton with wings. It was a gorgeous sight to behold. Christmas, 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 Christmas. Is everyone confused about what time of year it is? I see inflatables. I see pumpkin heads. Oh my God, I just see pumpkins. Look, assorted pumpkins. <gasps> Ooh, I smell a delightful smell. It's a cinnamon scented broom. This is wild. Have you guys ever seen these? This cat skeleton is ready to assist you with your air conditioning needs. A saber tooth tiger skeleton. I've never seen that in my life, but look at this. What the heck? Oh my God. Wait, this is amazing. I have never seen like kind of a bigger, crazier, display than this he's 300 bucks and you hook a fogger up to him but that's like crazy what is that i feel like we must protect him at all costs no sandworms why do i love the minion goggles i don't see any of the lights either they've got a lot of like bigger cool displays like look at all of that i love him why does he look so grumpy i said frankenstein in yesterday's video and everyone got so mad it's okay i called mary shelley she said she's cool with it she said i can say frankenstein scary tapping witch oh my god that is so kind of creepy honestly look at the what this is crazy. What you doing, Mr. Wolfman? Dude, this guy is just having a moment. Need some pumpkin spice Lulu? Is that what you need? Spook and joy. Yeah, okay, okay, we got it. We get it. I heard you the first 15 times. I am sad because I came in like the worst possible car to pick up large props and supplies. What if I do a video where I just like test out like bigger animatronic things like this? I don't want to see what the motion is because I feel like the head looks like it should move, but I can't pick that up myself. And I want to get the werewolf too, honestly. I feel like we've bonded. I feel like we've had a moment. We've had a conversation. Um, okay, let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> Ask a question. I feel like I got to get one of these guys. 
I kind of want to get him and like put him in the passenger seat of the car. I think I'm going to make a mad dash to Lowe's just in case they have it. Look at the pirate ship. It's really cool up there. I like, look, I'm hugging him. It's okay, sweet baby bones. My buddy, my buddy. If I sing that one more time, you have permission to punch me. It's like the punchline of every vlog so far. There's, this is the third one. I was in there for like literally 10 minutes and I feel like the sky is so much darker than when we went in. How am I still confused by time passing and earth spinning? Everything amazes me. Oh no, pig baby. You're being ejected from your seat. He's like, no mommy, please. This is my second pair of Crocs I purchased this month alone. I know they're ugly but they're comfortable. Just cause something's ugly doesn't mean that it doesn't deserve love. Isn't that a heartwarming scene? Skeleton and pig baby can now live in harmony. We are gonna have a really badass pilot, co-pilot little situation here. I honestly wish he could talk. I'm ready for AI technology, but only so that I can be friends with inanimate objects. I know that that sounds insane, all right? But you can't tell me that that wouldn't be fun if this guy, you know, just woke up and then with like a Jeeves type voice was like, hello, madam, the search for the sandworm continues. So I can just do that lame voice and talk to myself and probably still be as amused. All right, we're gonna go to Lowe's very quickly. The sky, that looks awesome. Look, we're finally at Lowe's. I finally distinguished which one was Lowe's and which one was Home Depot. I see the inflatables over there in the garden center. I can see it, you can't see it. That's the definition of the worst vlogger ever. Like I'm filming actually nothing. Oh my God. I perceive that there's a dude in the door. Why is that like my desire in life? Like, I just want to drive a forklift. I'm not joking. I sincerely wish that I could drive a forklift. It seems fun. What's going on there? Nothing. Okay. Hey! You look familiar and also a little depressed. It'll be okay, buddy. Just hang in there. That's amazing. Look at how tall it is. Miscellaneous banging. What? What is that? What? Oh my god. Look at the, look at the haunted house. We're gonna go closer. I love every single one of these. Look at the glasses eyeballs. Eyeballs glasses. And then look at the haunted house. I love that one. How am I still not over like uh, inflatable thingy things? I feel like these were like a fad like more than 10 years ago and I'm like, mm, I still like them. Got a lot of light effects, but it looks like a lot of similar ones that we already saw at Walmart. Nobody has blood drip lights, I guess. I don't know where these people got them from. I'm gonna have to go on Amazon. I bet it's Amazon. That's where everything comes from these days. Look at how enormous. It's enormous and I want one. <laughs> that thing has got to be like, is that like 10 foot? Like I don't even see it anywhere where I could. There's a loud beeping. They have some down here, but none of them look like an enormous tarantula. Oh, it's like a pirate. You like walk through it. There's the haunted house that I love. There's that big daddy. He's 16 feet tall. Look at how big that thing is, okay? That's like a planet. We can just all hop off of Earth and inhabit the back of this majestic inflatable being. Um, I'm kind of okay with that choice. That or Mars, just whichever happens first. I'm just going down the Christmas lights in case maybe um, I'm confusing blood drips with like happy merry Christmas wishes falling from the sky in the shade of red. I thought that that was like a whole face. That was really cool, but it's just a mustache. Just a mustache on a planter. It needs googly eyes. I'm excited. A couple of videos from now, we're gonna be doing a spooky succulent garden. Ew. I feel like now that I'm outside, I can be even louder. I like him too. Mr. Friendly Spooky Tree with your hands in the air. I want this cactus so bad. I should have brought Dog Man today. It looks kind of like bunny ears, right? It's like the Donnie Darko of cactus eye. Look at that one. That one's cute. Look, I can manage that with my own two phalange. I'm gonna take this cactus home. I feel very fulfilled with my purchase today, that and my little skeleton boy. But I feel like here ends today's 
vlog. Let me know if you like these videos where like the first half is me actually doing something in all sincerity and then the second half is like these follow me around sort of vlog adventures. Let me know how you guys think and feel but thank y'all so much for hanging out with me if you're not already you know the drill hit the button down below subscribe become a member of the swamp family and give an alligator its wings i love you guys so so much and i will see y'all tomorrow bye say goodbye mr spooky tree